So I want to talk about Vero. Can we please? It's so gross. It's so suspicious. But I want to give you guys perspective. That Welcome to today's video. Today is gonna be a great day. We're gonna talk. Oh, sh my room's a mess. We're gonna talk about Vero. We're gonna talk about life. First off, we're going to the gym. I wanted to show you guys my essentials. If you want to skip this part, I'll probably put a timestamp below. But it's really important to take care of yourself. I mentioned this before, but someone wanted me to explain the dynamic of how I think fitness is so important. So I'm gonna show you guys my essentials for the gym. We got my inhaler, because your girl got asthma. We got AirPods, because your girl likes to listen to music. And of course, we got the phone. That's all we really need, and uh, yeah. Walk downstairs, we're going to the gym, and I just wanted to address that I'm actually kind of like freaking lonely, because my dad's in LA, and my mom's trying to go to court so she can withdraw me from school, because hashtag dropout life, hashtag legal issues, hashtag I'm fucking screwed. Anyways, so, got the car keys, let's go. I want to talk about the importance of how you guys will fail. Sorry, that was rude. How you guys are just honestly going to give up before you succeed. So I like to work out. People know that because I do that every day. Kind of obsessed because it teaches me that nothing good will happen unless you actually implement and if you actually do it for a long time. No one gets buff from reading push-ups. No one gets strong from doing a push-up once a month. Like, no, you do it every single day or whenever it works for you. But I do believe a lot of people, they don't understand how timing has a big effect on to how you're on social media and a lot of you guys are calling yourself failures from not growing I literally had a person I was coaching and then her goal was like a million in a year and she was like way less than a thousand and then her time and investment ratio to her ambitious goal was ludicrous like you're not gonna why would you expect yourself to have a time frame like are you really that impatient I feel like so many people need to do something every single day whether it's a YouTube video every single day whether it's DMing people you have to be consistent it's not gonna get you anywhere if you read my videos look at it say thumbs up upgrade let me try this once it's not gonna work like that I'm really sorry like gonna break news to you that's why I like working out it just gives me the mindset you know this camera's not a good fall <laughs> wait is that good okay so you need to understand I never talk about mindset because I feel like it's too fluffy or you guys won't like it but it's more important than what I'm talking about so today we're gonna beat you down on some mindset and some truth that you have to be consistent and I don't even know what that means for you it probably means like okay Jade I'll do this for another six months like no go do this for the next 17 to 37 months and see where that takes you instead of judging yourself on a six-week period of how your followers are doing dude if you want like a instagram quit your job lifestyle that's going to sustain you for a long time stop doing sh in six week increments okay it's not gonna work like that it's really annoying i shouldn't even be pissed off why am i so pissed off i'm kind of hungry anyways i'm gonna go to the gym i'll, I'll finish up this thought two hours later back from the gym i got a iced coffee and a breakfast sandwich from whole foods i feel like it was very mediocre but i think we left off and talking about something about like mentality of instagram i talk a lot about tactical advice but i always skip the mentality for some reason maybe it's just because i feel like people think oh, it's fluffy but i have this guinea pig test group i call for my app development and i have a couple people of you guys that give me feedback and every one of you guys were saying that jay needed to go over the psychology of instagram or like the mental state of success instead of you know always talking about practical advice so here it is i'm gonna go over to like a place where i can work i'm gonna go coffee so i don't know if it's rude if i bring in coffee but let's see if they kick me out we're gonna go to the coffee shop i think i'm gonna go to one in portland or something <laughs> so cold here hi i think it's currently 5 p.m there's a huge gap in my vlogs because your girl kind of had a panic attack attack yeah okay so I don't know how to say this in the most polite but I had three cups of coffee and I forgot to eat during lunch so like I kind of became really anxious <sighs> panic attack you could say I was crying in the coffee shop um so I released my anger on Instagram so I feel better don't worry guys we're good I had a meeting with a graphic designer to get the domination the merch anyways so I want to talk about Vero can we please it's so gross it's so suspicious but I disagree with every ethical behavior the CEO did. There's just some things you guys need to keep in mind before you do the hashtag delete Vero. And if you want to know, I haven't deleted Vero yet because you have to get it approved by the employees. So I'm just like, F it. Like, I'd rather not put in that much effort. So this is the beef. Vero is a new app similar to Instagram. I will link my review below right here. And I didn't say if I liked it. I didn't say I'm, I am against it. All I just said was I'm curious to see what's going to happen. And little did we know, a few days later, we find out that Vero has suspicious activity and really bad past history with their current CEO. Since Vero is a current trending app, I thought I'd just kind of break down some beef. You guys know on this channel, I gave you guys the fastest insight on updates on social media, how to grow. And this app has been making its way on headlines. And I feel like you guys are getting some bullshit 
information, so I'm gonna break it down. The CEO, Ayman Hariri, his family is a billion Billionaire. Billionaires. Everything I'm about to say is gonna make him sound super suspicious because it is. He basically worked with this family construction company in back in Saudi Arabia. So after this construction company, they left 3.5 million dollars in debt and 35,000 people stranded in hunger and unpaid. They're all migrant workers that never got paid. And that is so disgusting and gross. It is so sad to see that happen. And I can't believe like he decided to make another app called Truth. Like how ironic is that, right? So it's suspicious but an interview I saw with Ayman Hariri and he explained himself saying that he had no affiliation when they did that action and he left prior so I don't know if you guys want to watch it take a look this entire video is not saying that I'm siding with anyone just because at this point like, like this is probably a marketing stunt anyways to get people kind of frazzled right I, I mean I can see through most industries so to be honest a CEO seems unethical but if you look at interviews it also seems like he has nothing to do with it also look at your favorite companies Apple Uber Steve Jobs was horrible to his employees Maybe not at the level as the Saudi Arabian. Anyways, Uber CEO got fired and look at them. They're, they're, they figured it out. Apple figured it out. Steve Jobs got fired from his own company. So people really need perspective. There's a lot of horrible CEOs. I'm not defending anyone. I'm just saying like, this is not the first time. Everyone needs to like calm down because I know Vera has suspicious activity, but so does Instagram. So does Facebook. Facebook can listen to you. Amazon Alexa can listen to you. They're, they're tracking you every single minute on your app activity. I'm sure you guys understand that there's worse apps out there that can track what you're saying and I do believe if you guys look into the terms of agreements on Vero, they're like change the word make it sound less scary But they basically don't allow you to delete the account if you want to delete it You have to get it approved, which is freaking weird. That's Vero. I want to know what you guys think I don't know if I said shout out to the comment winner, but shout out to the comment winner Shout out to the comment winner Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode I want to know what you think because for me, it doesn't sound new. Like, I'm not surprised. People are here like, delete Pharaoh. And I'm like, do you guys have any perspective? Like, this happens in the industry a lot. I'm not saying this is good. I'm just saying like, people don't understand how hard it is to build a business. I'm not even surprised that some greedy bastard did this because it's just common that people in entrepreneurship just suck sometimes. I'm not for it. I'm just letting you know that there's so much bullshit you'll see and I don't know if we can trust Ayman Hariri saying he had no affiliation I think he did but low key all his teams were Russian programmers which was also suspicious because there's like minimal diversity I heard and if you look at their manifesto it's like we believe in truth <laughs> and it's like ironic that their whole team are people that are greedy bastards that uh, took advantage of four migrant workers from the Philippines and not just a few of them thousands of them which is freaking disgusting <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna even get started just because I've seen this happen before and I honestly feel like this is a marketing stunt. Anyone can like, does anyone think that? I feel like Vero might have been contacting the press to like talk about the app just because I've never seen an app grow overnight. They went from one week to being not ranking on the app store at all to the number one app social media network in the whole app store, I guess in the US. I think that's a little suspect. I think, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not surprised, I'm not a for it, but if you know what I'm saying, like people need to have perspectives. I feel like the people that are like hashtag delete Vero and are the people who download Instagram anyways and don't understand that Instagram can sniff out your information more vigorously than Vero probably could so I'm not sure what to do with my account since it's gonna be uh, speculated anyways when companies listen to who you are take your data it's supposed to make your life better they want to recommend products that you like and I know people won't agree with it but over time technologies is gonna get better Amazon Alexa is gonna listen to you and provide you products that you will want it's a matter of time before it actually becomes useful for the consumer I'm telling you so many people are against the technology and the technology is not gonna move slower for you I'm sorry like what are you gonna do complain in your room and like be sad like I don't know like technology is gonna keep moving faster so for everyone and complaining like I'm not even surprised like this is gonna be a wild ride for the world and I hope you guys know that I'm here for you if you ever have a question you can message me but my point of view on Vero is I'm not surprised the CEO you f***ed up I don't know the real truth but I wish the best so my prediction for Vero if you're curious is I honestly think and there's a pattern in the industry but it's typical if you're not as big as Instagram or anyone that's a startup gets bought by the big players like Facebook Amazon Google maybe Apple I hope most often that like this is what usually happens Happens, but investors will kick out the CEO they will hire a new one Google might buy the whole company and we might have a better ethical group and that's what I'm hoping if that doesn't happen I mean they're gonna figure out their own sh anyways like their business like I'm sure they're not gonna go anywhere for a while I don't know business people are smart people so they're gonna figure out some way maybe their investors are going to kick out Iman and I have a prediction that might happen in the next couple years but that's a typical pattern I've seen Facebook bought Instagram I don't know who's who's gonna buy Vero maybe Amazon oh my gosh maybe Amazon because Amazon hasn't been able to create their own social network. I love Amazon though. Go Jeff Bezos. Ow! Ah! 
Okay. And I think I want to put this video, you know, leaving off that prediction. I don't know what you guys think. It's disgusting, but I'm not even surprised. A company's gotta make money. And I knew that Vera was too good to be true. I knew that I had to make some money somewhere, so I knew that they were gonna data mine anyways. I, I, I called it, guys, on my last video, so. Side note. I don't know where this fits in, but I guess on, we're on the topic of mental health since I need to conclude a better transition <laughs> to my videos. But I think I understood why I was really anxious today and I don't ever talk about mental health because I don't feel like I'm a perfect person to, you know, be an example for, but this might help you. I think one of my biggest insecurities is, well, back when I was in school, people would say like, Jade, you'll be nothing without college or you should get a real job. I expressed that kind of anger or maybe insecurity towards my Instagram story and I was afraid that those people at school would be, uh, I don't even know, upset and I don't know why but my mom went to court today to take me out of school, like, you know, drop out because apparently it's illegal. It's just really stressful and my parents are angels for supporting me and then you guys DM me so much love and support that it's okay to speak my mind. So this is like tears of joy. I just want to let you know a lot of people especially me, are afraid to say controversial things. But I feel like it's the controversial topics that make you more able to stand out on this like really noisy platform. This doesn't mean you have an excuse to talk about like political stuff you don't believe in just because you'll know it get views. Like just be genuine about your controversy and what you believe in. I think a lot of entrepreneurship has so much clicks, right? You have to have a Lamborghini and you need to like materialistic things. But you guys know like I'm not really into that. Uh, there's only a few things I really need and I really appreciate your love. Although I was super anxious earlier, I feel a lot better because you guys are just so sweet. so sweet it's okay to go on the camera and just talk about stuff that you know your friends will look down on you upon uh, if you say it out loud because when you open your mouth and say something 50% of people will not like it and 50% will and the faster you're able to make a clear line and stop being half pregnant in your thoughts is the faster you're able to define who you are and what you believe in I believe like sometimes that people have admit this wholeheartedly we all tend to do disclaimers We're like disclaimer I don't mean to offend anyone like I don't want to seem brown but like sure like be braggy like it's fine because at the end of the day you're gonna offend like half 50% of people and the faster you're able to make the cut clean edge instead of being half pregnant so everyone can like you is the moment you're able to be happy with yourself so screw everyone you know what if I want to say stuff on stories I would say it if I want to say stuff about Vero that you don't agree with I'm gonna say it no disclaimer yeah I hope this gives you perspective. Honestly, I'm not against Vero at all. Like, I'm not against it. I, I'm not choosing to delete it. They need to step up their game and their CEO may need to get fired. But I think there's potential in apps that people diss on because when there's uncertainty, there's progress. So we're uncertain where Vero is going to be, but they might have potential. They might not. But I'm not against the whole delete Vero trend. Kind of over it. It's annoying. Just be yourself. And if you delete it, just delete it. Okay? Okay. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.